Verden blev yderst håndgribelig, da eksperimentarium havde besøg af den japanske professor Shinichi Takamura. På sin levende globus kunne man eksempelvis se tsunamien, som havede i 2004, eller publikum kunne genopleve vejrets opførsel op til cyklonen i Burma sidste år. Uh, we can see clearly uh, that hurricane or cyclone is being born was being born uh, last May, uh, at least a week before it hits Burma. So, uh, uh, if this globe was installed in the uh, uh, office of the world leaders, for example, they could have warned the Burmese government, or the uh, at least they could have collaborated. To mitigate the disaster. Naturkatastrofer er der kun en kategori af mange forskellige oplysninger, man kan få fra Takemura's levende jordklode. This is the real-time globe, which represents the almost real-time cloud movement, cloud data, or the real-time terminator. That means the borderline between day and night. Globen opdateres hele tiden ved hjælp af satellitter, samt forskere verden over, der supplerer med seneste nyt om for eksempel havtemperaturer og jordskælv. We can show the uh, animation of the uh, earthquakes, for example. We are showing the earthquake events uh, for the last 20 years. And if you show all the data accumulation of the seismic events, you can see the uh, uh, tectonic plate borderlines. Yeah, represented by the seismic data, and you will see the uh, country like Japan and Iceland is very vulnerable because it's right on the uh, border lines of the tectonic plates. The global world comes very close to Takemura's globus, that is a tool that everyone can use to be closer to the world we live in. My concept is to design the uh, kind of public sensory platform for the global age. We are said to be living in a global age, and yet we don't have the uh, global media in the real sense, uh, which helps us understand what kind of planet we are living on, or what's really going on in a global scale, or how we are connected to each other in sharing one globe. Or then a lit at a fat poop. It's very easy to spin it from the front. Små tryk med håndfladen styrer klodens bevægelser. This globe is something which makes the scientific knowledge and scientific data more tangible. In that sense, uh, we call it tangible earth. Experimentarium arbejder på, at tangible earth skal vende tilbage. Følg med på Experimentariums hjemmeside om, hvornår du kan opleve tangible earth næste gang.